So here I have a variation of the flame test that we've done previously in the lab. On each of these watch glasses are different salt substances that we're going to uh, light on fire and see how their electrons react in a Bohr model. Over here on the very right, we have strontium chloride. Strontium chloride is strontium atom, which is a metal attached to a chlorine atom, which is a nonmetal, specifically two chlorine atoms. Right here is table salt, the salt you're mostly familiar with. Table salt is sodium chloride. This one is copper two chloride, that's one copper and two chlorines attached. Right here I don't have any substance, there's no substance to create a color that I would like, so we're just going to call this one our control. And finally at the very end, this is a substance called no salt. Similar to table salt, no salt is, a, is an edible salt, um, but this salt is made out of potassium chloride instead of sodium chloride. So, depending on the Bohr model, electrons jump to different energy levels. And so each substance has its own unique signature of light that it emits. Sometimes it emits red colored light or orange. Sometimes it might take a little bit for the salt to get excited. Green. Here's our control with nothing in it. We'll call that one blue. And then a little bit of purple. Like I said, you'll see a little bit of orange flame in there. Part of that is just the nature of the flame, um, maybe some of the chemical residue from the actual watch glass that it's on or a, a lack of oxygen. But we can kind of excite some of these electrons to look the color that they're supposed to be.